getting back into it, F4 is a shortcut to our routing. So this allows you to add buses from your sound card. Like if I want to use, I don't know, my channel 23 on my ADAT2 inputs, I can assign that, no problem. And now mono, the mono input will be bus to my 23 ADAT uh, input. So that's pretty straightforward. It gets a little confusing. It's a lot of routing, um, a lot of signal flow. But like any great program, you're going to be dealing with a lot of that. So obviously over here is our master channel. Everything will be bussed through to here. And uh, what I'm going to do to just kind of speed this process along is I'm going to load up one of my songs that I already have made. And we're going to just kind of go through each channel, solo it, look at what I did to create the sound, how the sound's created, how it's manipulated, and uh, whether it was effective or not. And uh, that, that way you can get a better idea of how this program works. But it, it's got kind of a steep learning curve. It took me a couple months to get on my feet with this program. But now uh, it's, it's incredibly efficient and inc it sounds incredibly wonderful. Uh, this program I do all my recording in. I don't record directly into Live, which is the other program I like to use, Ableton Live. Anytime I record into the Ableton Live, it doesn't sound quite as good as when I record it into Nuendo. So even if I'm going to lay down a track for a track I did in Live, I still record it into Nuendo first. It just sounds better in this program. So let me load up a song and we'll take a look at some of these sounds I used. So here you have it. Uh, this is basically one of the songs I've been working on for the past month or so. Uh, the sequencer view is littered with little gray boxes and each one of those boxes is either a chunk of audio or a chunk of MIDI information. Now before I start dissecting this mess, I want to, to show you a couple transport shortcuts. For one, if you hit spacebar, it plays and stops. That's pretty standard on any, uh, any uh, program for spacebar. Now if you go to the right side of your keyboard, if you move over to your number pad on the right, a couple of shortcuts are the decimal point is RTZ or return to zero, which is a nice feature if you need to get back to the beginning of the song. Uh, let's see, enter is play, zero is stop. Now three and six and nine are all fast forward functions. Three is slow fast forward, six is fast fast forward, and nine is really fast fast forward. And the cool thing about these is it, it actually plays the song as you fast forward it and just like an old tape deck, it actually speeds up the pitch and everything. So take a listen to this. You hit play. There's fast fast forward. And here's really fast fast forward. And it's just kind of funny how it does that. Now on the flip side, um, 1, 4, and 7 are all rewind functions. 1 is, rewinds about the same speed as play. And it will play it backwards too, which sounds pretty cool. 4 rewinds it a little faster, and 7 does the fast rewind, and it will play it. So actually take a listen to this. This is 4. Here's 1. So it's rewinding at about the play speed. And then 7 sounds like that. So you can get some pretty weird sounds messing around with that, but it's just a nice way to quickly transport through the uh, program if you don't have a nice Mackie control or some sort of MIDI controller.